I'm so tired. Oh, I've had two cups of coffee. There's like a couple sips left and it's ice cold now and I just don't want to drink it. But I'm exhausted and we're going to go through my gym shirt collection today. I'm just going to take you guys through the realistic of my closet, which is a bomb, and what I have left of gym shirt because I have gotten rid of a lot um, as well as a lot have ripped on me. And I actually have a couple pairs that are like actually hidden in my office over here next to my sewing machine because I need to sew the butt crack because the seamlessness actually ripped open. So I've already done some like friends leggings in the past, but creating a seam, I just have to buy the stitching, like the right color for the fabric. So I haven't got around to that, but I have a couple pairs I can fix. But for the most part, I have actually like gotten rid of so many Gymshark items. And most of my collection now is bras. So we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna take you through the whole situation, but let me sort myself and we'll head over there soon. Okay. Let's head over to the collection. Um, I'm not going to show you the one. Let me just check on the dog. Hi, Nugget. He's snoozing. Um, I'm not going to show you the ones that are ripped currently. This is a horrible angle. <laughs> Hello. Because um, I don't want to take them out of the area that they're hidden in. Um, but I'll show you what. There we go. Some light. What I have currently I give you a little bit of a rundown, but in my closet, hello, towels. Um, I have this stack of leggings, and then um, I have a few Gymshark shorts in here. So I'm gonna pull out what I have and put them in the nice lighting and all the bras, and then we will go through it all. I'm not gonna do a try on though because. I'm gonna start sweating if I try to do that. So we're gonna do this just by showing you. I'm so sorry if the camera falls during this. It's on my windowsill. Okay, I got it all. And we're gonna go through shorts, leggings, tops and then sports bras. I don't have all the sports bras right now though because there are some in the laundry and I really just could not be bothered to like pick them out and then I have to put them back in. So I have the same colors or the same uh, bra in different colors. I'm just going to show you how much colors I have. But what order did I just say we we're going to do that in? I need to go to sleep. Okay when it comes to shorts I have three actual pairs and then one I made. So this is the one I made. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember like this animal print lilac -y blue color. Um, but I bought these on Marketplace in an extra small and I thought they'd be, they would fit because I actually have like the dark blue, I'll show you the leggings in a sec, animal print. Um, and they're pretty big on my waist. So I was like, oh, I'll just get them an extra small, be perfect. This fabric isn't as stretchy and they were so tight on my legs. And because Gymshark makes leggings that are a little short for tall girls, um, it was not a good look on my calf. <laughs> so I cut them into shorts um, and they're pretty cute. They got the little butt scrunch. Uh, I like the little color of them and they're not like my most worn ones just for the fact that they are still really tight because they are an extra small. But highly recommend just chopping them if you find that the leg, the leg side is too small. The other ones I have and these ones I actually really like. Um, I think... I can't remember what the name of these are. But these are the shorts version they have leggings they have like a little gymshark thing here um they have a very very faint gymshark symbol these ones are really cute they're very high-waisted and that's something i always find with like the gymshark shorts um so i always roll them down but these are pretty tight the only thing i don't like as much is, is like this folded seam at the bottom because it's actually like a stitched and it's like very compressive on my thighs but they make the butt look good so you can't really complain on that part and then these ones I have had, and I still have a couple in all of the leggings versions, <laughs> but these are the flex seamless, but these are the shorts. One thing I have always noticed about Gymshark is that the shorts always fit smaller than the leggings. So every time I have bought in shorts, even when I was an extra small in the leggings, like a couple years ago, I always had to buy smalls in the shorts. So I originally bought the green and then the pink ones of these. I had to get rid of them because they, I bought them in extra small and I actually couldn't even pull them over my thighs. They were so tight. 
So this is a small and it fits me so nice. The new waistband is way better. So this is like the more updated version. So it's like thicker. The old ones were like a thinner one and they kind of went up really awkwardly high. So then it's like you had no lower belly, belly control. Betty? Okay. Um, but I love these ones and the color is just amazing. And my final pair of shorts is the KK Fit collab shorts. So it's got the cool little KK Fit sign, little thing. Um, shorter in the front, longer in the back. These are very silky, so there's no like compression to them. That's the only thing I don't like. So unless I have like a good solid hip thrust booty pump, not my favorite, but they're so soft. So the goal is just to grow the glutes, have a pump butt. So when I wear these, don't even need the pump to feel good. But those are my four shorts. I really don't have many shorts um, because I have gotten rid of a bunch of pairs and I just kind of limit what I have now. And I have like amplify shorts and like so many different brands now that I just like wear what I have and I don't really care to buy a bunch more um and very kindly a lot of companies have been sending me um little pieces to like do collabs with for making like videos YouTube Instagram reels all that stuff so I've gotten a lot of like other brands now to try and I've just been kind of expanding my wardrobe with that but let's touch base on the leggings that I have these are my oldest leggings to date so this is the old original flex seamless as you can see they're old like they are falling apart but this is the green the reason i bought the green shorts is because i loved these ones so much but these are an extra small and the shorts were too tight and these actually fit me perfect so i don't really wear them often anymore they're not like my go-to but they're like kind of like a little nostalgic piece so i can't really get rid of them and then i have the same ones but in the light gray with the blue Love them. These ones are a lot more stretchy than the green ones. So I do really find I need to have a solid booty pump for these ones. <laughs> but the green ones I can kind of get away with like a proper body day. But these ones are definitely like a leg day only and like hip thrust only day. I'm going to try to go through these in like their pairings almost. So I have these like the, I don't know if they're newer, maybe newer-ish. Um, like they're different patterns. So these are the camo green ones with the little butt scrunch. They are like maybe seven eighths length, a little bit shorter. The only thing I don't like about these green ones is that the waistband, you can see like it just goes straight up. Like there's not much like curve to it. Like I feel like they should have made it like a little bit smaller. So when you put them on, it actually like hugged your body. Um, these ones I have to fold down and constantly pull back up. They don't stay up nice. And the legs are very tight on me. These are size small though, but they're so tight that when I walk, it like shimmies the pants down because I can't physically pull them up any higher on my calf because they're like stuck. Like the fabric doesn't stretch that any more than that. So not my favorite. These ones on the other hand, I do like a lot more. So these are the animal print seamless, the blue ones. Um, these are so soft. They have the butt scrunch. And these legs on these ones are a lot like stretchier so I can pull them up, fold the waist over and they tend to stay up a lot better. So I prefer these ones. Um, these are all the ones I bought in a size small, which is why I ended up buying those, uh, the ones I cut into shorts and an extra small. Cause I was like, well, these ones are kind of big and I always had to fold the waist down. So it was like, kind of cool to have one I didn't have to. I almost needed like an in-between size, um, but I do like these ones more than the camo ones. And then these ones are the ones that I have the two pairs in my office that I need to fix the seam of, but I actually have the Vital Seamless in this gray. These are, I think, the second round, and then I actually have the like light gray marl, I think it was called, and then like the aqua blue colored pair in the original, and those ones, or no, how many times have they came out with different Vital Seamless? Okay, let me try, retry that. I had the dark gray, almost black, original Vital Seamless, and I was at the gym one time, and I went to go pull them up, and the entire butt crack split open. Thankfully, I had a long sleeve sweater I could tie around my waist for my entire workout because I had no other pants, um, but those were my original ones, and then I got the light blue and the light gray, then I bought these ones because those two got holes in the butt. I don't have much luck with the leggings, um, but these ones I like. They're not like the most flattering I find. Like I, I al I'm always pulling them up. That's the only thing that drives me nuts is I'm always like pulling them up and when I walk, they like shimmy down. So that's the only thing I find with like those specific leggings, like the pattern ones and then the vitals. Um, Cause like the flex seamless ones, I find like the fabric so stretchy and soft that like it stays up perfect and it like flatters. Those ones I find to be really irritating sometimes to work out in. 
Um, so they're not my most gravitated towards leggings. <laughs> okay, let's do the last like pattern one I have. So these ones, I don't know what these are called. There is a string dangling from it. Um, but I have these in an extra small because again, I was so stuck between sizes and I was getting tired of always pulling up the small. So then I bought a bunch of extra smalls and then they're way too small. These ones are really, really tight. <laughs> I can wear them. They're not the most comfortable, but if like, say mid cycle when you're feeling a little bloated, these are kind of like my go-tos because even though they're really tight, they make you feel pretty good because they're very compressive, but I wish I would have got these in a size small. Um, but other than that, they're pretty cute. They are short though. That's the only thing that drives me nuts. I can't wear a lot of them comfortably because they're all kind of short on me which I've actually heard a lot about um, watching different YouTubers reviews, especially girls like my height, because I'm like five, eight, five, nine maybe. Um, and there was actually a girl, I can't remember her name, is it Caitlin? Um, she did a review and she always talks about, she's like five, nine. And she always says like, they're just never long enough. And I now understand exactly what she means because all of mine are never long enough. Um, but I don't mind those black ones. Um, I just have a little bit of a problem with like the, patterned ones those are kind of like my main issue point and then I did buy these ones because I think I seen Morgan wearing these and I was like oh those are super cute they don't look cute on me whatsoever but these ones I don't even know what they're called they go like this and it has like the weirdest waistband I've ever felt in my life like it's supposed to be compressive it is but it's not I don't even know how to explain it like it's completely different fabric than the leg so it's kind of weird but they do not look good on me but I feel like I have hopes one day that I'm going to have like my dream butt again and then I'm going to want to wear these. So I just hold on to them. They are very soft on the legs. It's just the waistband that kind of throws me off. And there's no compression whatsoever. Like in the legs. It's very, very, very soft and thin. So not my favorite. But we're keeping them just in case. Um, one of these though, I actually did buy the, this pair. I haven't bought any more because I didn't really love these. I had these in the very, very light gray with the pink writing. And they bought those in an extra small. And again a hole in the butthole um but these are the new flex seamless leggings i think i like the waistband on these ones but the fit of the other ones it's kind of weird like i need like a mixture um but these are actually a little bit longer i find than the any of the other ones i don't really love this color <laughs> i bought it because i was in like a gray phase and i was like oh i'm gonna love it um this color was not my favorite i would prefer like the light gray that i had before with the pink writing um, but I was trying to get something different because I already had those, but I wish I would have got the same ones in a different size. But not bad. Kind of like them. I wear them very rarely though. Um, they're kind of a weird fit I almost find. But, I mean, we keep them just because I feel like I'm wearing them. Um, but then these ones are kind of funky. So I bought these ones. I don't know if it was like a sale or if it was like a boxing day. These were a very random purchase because I'm not a red person at all. But I did end up buying... The legging version I think these are the ones I might have got in the shorts or these are like a different version but kind of similar um I don't wear these very often the only thing I find so this is the issue this goes like in the middle of my butt when I put them up like I pull them up and it's like in the middle of my butt cheek it doesn't go under them so it's the only thing I find annoying that's why I don't wear them as much I don't find them very flattering in that sense but these are very very soft I would love if they had all the animal prints in this fabric it would just be like a win-win because they are short, but they're comfortable on my calves. Like, you know, when like they're too tight and then it like pinches, these ones don't do that. So I do like these ones and I love the patterns on them. I think it's cool. I just don't like the lines on them, but that's the only thing. And then my final pair of leggings is the last collection of Whitney Simmons. So I bought the neutral ones. Don't ask me why I bought neutral. Like, excuse me, my skin tone is not for this, but I had to buy something. I actually have the bra too, but... These are really cute. They're way too short on me, to be honest. Um, that's the only thing that drives me nuts. And I find the butt to be kind of weird. Like they don't, they don't go up the butt crack enough. Like there's certain leggings and brands that just have it like whoop, right up there and it doesn't move. And I love that. These ones I have to always pull up and like sometimes I can get them in the right position and they stay. And then sometimes it's just not happening. So those are my leggings. I have a love hate towards Gymshark leggings because they always rip on me, but I love the sports bras and their sweaters and shirts are really cute. 
it's just the leggings but like the shorts if I, I bought more shorts I think I'd be happier I have a really hard time buying leggings because I am tall my legs are really long so it's not really as much the brand issue I wish they had like two different lengths it's more so just being awkwardly tall <laughs> but let's go through my shirts quick and then we'll go into the sports bras because that's going to be like the biggest part of my collection so I have a few shirts and sweaters um this one is just like a really old Gymshark hoodie. I don't like this as much really at all because it's very, very tight. It doesn't stretch. And I like like men's oversized hoodies, not like the girly fitted ones. So I've worn this a few times because it's thicker. So like when it was like minus 40 here, I wore it to the gym to warm up, um, but not my favorite. I actually had an, uh, I had two of these. I don't know if I bought two or if they accidentally sent me two. I can't remember what happened, but I had two at one point and I did crop one of them, but then my Dumbo self cropped it like mid boob length and it was so awkward. So I ended up getting rid of that one, but I kept this one, but this is my favorite one. This is love. I actually wish I would have bought it in an extra small though, um, just so it was a little bit shorter, but it's a cropped little quarter zip. It's got like a little pocket. It's super cute and it's so soft <laughs> the hand was stuck but it's so stretchy it's soft it's cute for the gym it's perfect for like springtime for like warming up at the gym when it's not like super hot um i unless it's like 20 plus degrees in the summer i always wear a shirt to the gym or a sweater to warm up until i get warm enough and i feel comfortable enough like actually taking off my shirt or sweater so i like this one this one's so soft i actually tried to marketplace um all the different colors that they had for so long and I couldn't find any because they were sold out I'm pretty sure but I love it this one's my favorite we just need to take a moment so I have been buying Gymshark for years probably like four maybe more years so this is like actually probably one of the original pieces I have ever bought this sweater is a zip up it's got like a high neck zip it's got a hood and it's got the Gymshark logo. And this is like an elastic band. I don't know if you guys remember this, but it's thick, it's warm, and it's cute and cropped. So I have never gotten rid of this, and I probably never will unless I get too big for it, but it's still pretty big. Even though it is an extra small, it fits me really well, which is shocking. So I love this one, and it's gonna stay with me forever. Okay, on to shirts. So I have a couple t-shirts and a couple long sleeves. So I bought this one. I haven't actually worn it yet. Okay, this is so bad. I bought this like a year ago. <laughs> but I don't wear crop t-shirts very much anymore. I used to be all about like the style and the crops. And I'm going to make a full YouTube video on like finding your style for the gym. Because I know it can be really hard sometimes when you're trying to figure out what vibe you like. And there's so many different influencers out there. So many different people with different styles. And you try them all out. Well, that's where this came from. So <laughs> I tried... And I haven't worn it yet. I'll probably wear it in the summer, to be honest. Um, but it's got the cool, like, it's so bright right here. But it's like a hot pinky kind of logo here. Um, and it's just like the cool pattern. So I bought it because I liked it. And I couldn't get the oversized t-shirt because I'm pretty sure it was sold out. So that's why I bought this one. I, nowadays, um, if you guys have seen my style on social media, I am all about oversized t-shirts. So that would have been better. Maybe one day. <laughs> but I like that one. This is the oversized t-shirt I did get. And I did not get it oversized enough. But this is like the animal print pink t-shirt. Um, the only thing is, it's like, it's a medium. I actually should have got like a large or extra large in the women's. Um, just for the fact that it's like, it's oversized. But I like when it's oversized to the point where it covers like my crotch and my butt. This one's like a midi, like mid butt range. So it's kind of weird sometimes. But like, it's, it's a pretty nice fabric. Like it's thicker. But I like it. I keep it. It's a cute color. So when I don't want to feel like completely homeless or look like a boy all the time, this is it. And then I have two long sleeve crop tops. So again, this is like one of the OGs. It's the vital seamless crop long sleeve. I absolutely love this shirt. It is so stretchy. Um, I've actually bought the a black knockoff Amazon version and it was actually fairly similar. Um, but I just never went back on the site to buy more of these, but I like this purple color. It's pretty cute. Um, it's got the logo on the back here as well and on the front, but it's like so stretchy and soft that it's not like, 
you know when you put on a tight shirt especially a long sleeve to go to the gym like you feel like you're suffocating like i can do a leg day in this and not be phased if that makes sense so like it's really lightweight and it's very comfortable like you don't feel like you're wearing a long sleeve Ooh, almost fell over top if that makes sense and then my final top is the ribbon top so this actually used to have that little like string where you could tie it around your waist and you look like a little ballerina um i hated it and it always got tangled up in the wash so i just took it off and what i do because it's kind of like an awkward fit so this is like a cotton fabric or really not it's like cottony spandex it's not like that vital one like that that can i speak like that softy stretchy spandex this is like that cottony material like a t-shirt so it's very hot but what i do is i actually just take this and i tuck it under my sports bra all the way around because it flares out since it's supposed to have that tie to hold it down so i do that but it's got like little thumb holes but it's cute and it's like a basic which i like so if i'm like again if it's cold out and i want to wear a crop to the gym and feel warm for the first beginning of it um that'll be a good go-to and then usually i don't ever take it off because i get stuck in it when i get sweaty so i like that one but it's not my favorite the purple one's definitely my favorite um but let's jump into the sports bras i have quite a few at least for me i have quite a few um and then that's my collection i don't have it much anymore if you go to my other YouTube channel, like my old one, and you scroll way back to like four years ago, probably, those collection videos I used to do were insane. I had so many things. But I have not many here because a lot of them are in the wash. I found two more. Okay, so my top one that I have the most of is the scrunch the scrunch front bra with like the little crisscross back the reason i really like these and all of their bras is they have adjustable straps um so it's the easiest to keep in the right position some of the bras out there like they don't have it and then i find they're either too low or too high so these are great so i have the green one i have both pink the peachy and the bright and the white and the black so I have five <laughs> and you know it's funny they used to be my most worn bra I don't wear them as much anymore um but that's just because I've had so again like I said I have a lot of brands that keep sending me stuff which is amazing um so I keep trying out different things so then I don't go as overboard on my old stuff anymore <laughs> um and then I also have the matching KK fit bra to the shorts because I wanted to try the set out but it actually thankfully watched so many review videos before they actually launched it for all the girls that got it like beforehand and i heard about the leggings being ridiculously short so i was like okay i'm not doing that we're gonna buy the shorts so i got the bra and the shorts together and i love that bra it's so soft but all my bras are in a size small i honestly could have worn extra small in that one but i've had the extra small in their version so like basically kk fit like that bra is the same one as like the other ones gymshark has made which is the gymshark logo and i had the neutral toned one like the nudie type one and it was an extra small and i couldn't even breathe in it so i got small when i could have got an extra small i'm just i'm not winning here's another one i have multiples of so i have the bandeau bra so i have the white one i have the black one i have the white one i also have the light blue one they have other colors i think there's like red and green again look at my skin tone green and red are not my friends <laughs> so i didn't get any of those but i have three of them um and i love them they're so comfy um, and I think they're very, like, cute for the gym. Because I always see people wearing, like, just, like, the band nose itself. And I'm like, no, thank you. Like, I would flash so many nips to people. So I like it how it has straps, but it still has the cute look. So it's kind of a win-win. That one's probably, like, my favorite. And now I see, like, every brand coming out with that style. If you're not Gymshark and you're not Alpha Elite, you're copying them. <laughs> like, that's kind of how it seems to be. Like, it's, like, anytime one of them comes out with something, every other brand comes out with it in their, like, own version or own colors. And now I'm seeing lots of people do the bandeau ones, which I love because it is such like a staple. And I know there's people that don't like Gymshark and they don't like Elf Elite, So they'll pick the same styles that they like from those companies in a different brand. So it's kind of cool to see that everybody's kind of like following that and like making everything that people actually want. But I keep seeing it everywhere now. So that's one thing I noticed. And then my oldest bras. I'm going to show you two really, really old ones and then my newest one. So this, I don't even know how old this is. This is like a cotton crisscross back thick 
material. It didn't have cut pads. It's almost like a tank top. I don't remember if it was supposed to be like a tank or if it was like a labeled a crop and not a sports bra, but I swear it has a sports bra and it's like higher necked, but it's so soft, like it's like soft, but it's thick. So I feel comfortable in it. So I've had that for years. And then same with this one. This probably was like one of like the first ones I ever bought, excuse the hanger attached to it. But this one's so cool. It's got like the funkiest patterns on it. I love this one. Um, I don't think I'll ever get rid of this, even if I don't wear it that much. It's just like kind of like a cool, I don't see anything like this anymore. So love it. And then my final piece, the final one, and it's my newest purchase from Gymshark. And I have a feeling a lot of you guys can already guess what it is because everybody and their mom has it. Let me put it the right way. <laughs> it's the mini bra. Um, I have like a C cup. And now I understand Whitney Simmons when she said, this is for like the B and A cup ladies. Like anything bigger is going to spill out. Yes, it does. So <laughs> I took the back straps out of it and I actually just slip knotted the top of here. So one thing I found was when you did put this over your head like that, um, when it wasn't tied, it went too low. So there was a lot more chance of getting a nip slip. Tying it in this little tiny knot made it like go dunk, and like lift and stay in place. So now I can wear it to the gym and feel comfortable. I also am always checking when I'm like, well, just in case, like every time I move basically, but it's a lot more comfortable this way. But I just like it because on a back day, like mm, it's just like nothing on your back, just all the gains. So I love that one, but that is my Gymshark collection. I don't have much anymore compared to what I used to have. Oh, it blows my mind how much stuff I used to actually buy from athletic wear companies, but also just how much stuff I had in my closet. When this closet is like full and it's not even nearly as much as I had in my smaller closets when I lived with my parents. <laughs> so it blows my mind. But let me know like what either your favorite pieces from Gymshark, if you have like any recommendations after kind of hearing like, I'm a t-shirt person. I like the casual comfy kind of clothes. If you're like, hey, you have to try this one. Let me know in the comments. Or if there's other brands that you're like, can you do like this one or review this one? Let me know. I got you. But I have three different companies that they are sending me different uh, workout gear, athletic wear, and I'm going to do a full YouTube videos on all of them as well as like Instagram stuff. So you can see it on there. Um, but let me know what you want me to check out or if there's something I should go grab that you think I'd love. And that's all I'm going to say. So hope you guys have the best freaking day ever. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave comments below with all that stuff. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos with me. And that's all I'm going to say. So see you guys in the next one.